All right, guys. So here's the question. Here's the question that I want to put out there. Should we get involved with a charity, a feeding program, a medical missions program, something here in the Philippines? Um, this is a big, I don't know, it's kind of like a hot, a hot subject to talk about. Um, I know other vloggers have in the past, have gotten jammed up, have ran into problems, ran into issues, um, asking their subscribers, send, send me money, help with this feeding program, send me money, help me build houses, send me money, um, I need this to help, you know, this program or this program. The problem that they run into is, I guess the Philippines looks at that as you're running a, a, a charity. Um, as a foreigner, it can be done. Uh, from my understanding, if you're here on a visitor's visa, it cannot be done. Um, this morning, pretty much all, well, early morning into the afternoon, um, Lut and I, we were talking in, in to different organizations here, different feeding groups, different medical mission groups, things like that here. <clears throat> um, trying to find out what they're about, what organization they're, you know, they represent, are they legal, are they not legal? Um, and like I said, that's the thing. If, you know, if I'm gonna get involved in something here, it's gonna be legit, it's gonna be set up, um, it's gonna be ran through an organization, um, helping, you know, helping out the community, helping out, you know, the, the poor people, helping out um, medical issues. Um, I talked to a couple different organizations. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that I want to get involved with the chest beater. Look at me. Look what I'm doing here. Look at me. That's not my thing. Um, I met with a guy who his organization is 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 about feeding, uh, you know, feeding the people here, those that don't have much, uh, helping out with medical issues, issues, but. His organization is one that also wants to educate people. In other words, like he was saying, you can set up a feeding program here every day. Every day they'll come, every day they'll get something to eat, but you're not teaching them anything. The only thing you're doing is teaching them to get a free meal. His organization is out there and um, they, they're educating the Philippines, they're educating the people to how to you know, survive on their own. Um, you know, the old saying, you know, I could feed a person a fish every day and he'll eat for a day, uh, I could, or I could give him a fishing pole and he'll eat for the rest of his life. That saying, I'm not sure if I got it right, but you know the saying I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> and another thing, I didn't want to, I don't want to, and this is one of the things that, you know, kind of like, how do I go about doing it? Um, I don't want to go out and, and, you know, do it, what I call exploiting the poor here, exploiting the homeless here. Um, first of all, you can get the B DPW, the Department of Public Welfare, they don't want that either. Um, yes, what you're doing to help feed and help give people things, it's a, it's a humanitarian thing, it's a human thing. Um, but the DPW here doesn't want people, especially foreigners and even Filipinos, <clears throat> going out and exploiting the poor, exploiting the homeless. Um, you know, there was a clown, and that's what he is, and still is, uh, a clown that was here exploiting the poor, exploiting the homeless, exploiting the filth here. And he was running around, it's real, it's real. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, what's real is, DPW could see that, DPW could step in there, and guess what? They kick you right out of this country, or you show up here the next time, thinking you're going to, you know, do all this crazy stuff and you're standing there an immigrant or as you're coming in and they're saying now you're rejected you're not allowed to come in here dpw does not want people exploiting the poor here it's here we know it's here everybody knows it's here those that have been here know it's here they don't want it being exploited in photos and also in videos they just don't so i you know i'm always thinking i don't i how can i present something in a positive way, how can I present something to where, you know, I, I'm not ex gonna be exploiting things. And they said, you know, they don't mind people taking photos, they don't mind people taking videos of a program where everybody's happy, where they got, you know, food to eat for the day, where, you know, they got some medical help. Um, they're fine with that. 
Um, and that was one of my things, you know, and I've been thinking about this for a long time. How can I, you know, in my channel, how can we go about, you know, putting, putting our stamp on something that's legit, something that's uh, honest. I know people are going to say, honesty in the Philippines. Um, you know what, believe it or not, there are honest people here. And of course, there are some bad people here. Um, do you say, get with another foreigner who's running a program here? Um, then again, you know what, there are foreigners here, guys. There are foreigners here that are out for themselves, out to make money for themselves, out to steal from people. There are foreigners here. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I was talking to a lot of different people this morning. Um, like I said, the one organization that they have set up that's a feeding program, uh, mission program, you know, helping with the sick, helping with, you know, um, children with medical issues. Um, and, and like I said, their program is educate, okay? We're gonna help you, we're also gonna educate you on the proper way to do things, the proper way to, you know, go out and find food or go out and, get a job and things like that. And that's what I want to be with an organization. Um, another big thing here too is <clears throat> you got you to gotta align yourself with certain people here. What do I mean by that? Certain Filipinos, you know, there are Filipinos here that are part of these programs and they got a lot of pull. They got a lot of political pull. They have a lot of connections as it's called. And something doesn't work something goes wrong, they have the political and they have pull here to correct it and get it done right. You as a foreigner here, guess what you're doing might be a good idea. Feeding the helpless, feeding the poor, medical missions and all that. But if you don't have those connections, boy, they can come in there and they can wreak havoc on you. I mean, they could come in, they could close you up, they could find you, there's a lot of things they can do. I'm just starting to learn all this right now. Uh, so that's kind of who I'm going to align myself with, you know, um, somebody in a group that has, they're established, you know, they're legitimate, they're on the books, they have all the permits, they have everything there. Organizations that they don't need people's money coming in to run that organization. In other words, I need to stick some in my pocket because I'm doing this. Um, I've talked to, like I said, this organization today. And the people that are in this group, they don't need the money. You know, they're businessmen. They're, they've got the money. They don't need it. They don't need to line their pockets with it. Um, I'm going to get more with them. Find out more about, you know, more about them. Find out a lot more. Um, do my homework. And like I said, there's other other groups here. They're chest pounders. Look what I'm doing. Look at me. Look how good I am. Look how many people I can feed. And where they're getting their money from, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I want to I want to get with a good, solid organization here. Now, now what brings me to all this? It's a lot of rambling. I'm sorry. Um, but what brings me to all this? You guys know that we received that Balik Bayam box uh, from uh, a subscriber, Mitch Nasa. Thank you very much. Um, and he had all this products in there, all these different things. Uh, I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. And um, he had spoke to him and I had spoken to him and I asked him, you know, what would he like for me to do with it? And he said, it's up to me. Um, and, and I talked with Lut and, you know, I told her, I said, hey, listen, we're not gonna be able to use all this. Um, could we sell it at the store? I guess we could, but you know what? It was given as a, a, a donation, you know, from a subscriber and I only feel it's right to pass along you know i don't need to make a profit off of it i want to pass it along give it to people that are that are less fortunate that don't have much um that's what brought me to this uh right now i'll show you here in a split second what we're doing here um but anyways like i said i want to get involved in some type of organization some legal legit organization here in the philippines and uh Figured I'd put it out there. Let me know your thoughts. But anyways, let me show you here quick what we're doing. All right, guys. So here's what we're doing. You see these bags here, these Zone Perfect bags. Um, it was a bunch of bags. Look, it was a bunch of bags like that that came. 
Uh, and what we're doing is we're taking off the plastic on everything. That way we don't have to <laughs> worry about the issue of, you know, discarding of the plastic when they, you know, when the people receive them and stuff. So what we're doing is we're just taking one of the bags and, um, and uh, taking the plastic off, of course. Uh, what do we have here, Lut? Um, Harry body, body wash. Body wash. And then lotion. 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 The face. Mm -hmm. And uh, shampoo. Right. I need to take in the bag. Yeah. Because every, you know, <laughs> if you're not aware of it, there is an issue here with plastic, and we don't want to contribute to that, you know, if we have to. Nail polish. Nail, a nail file. Yeah. yeah a little nail file. And uh, headband. Headband. It's a headband. headband. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, the deodorant. Right. Two kinds of deodorant. Two kinds of deodorant. Anna Grace is helping also. And also, uh, we have uh, a food sugar snack. Like a little snack? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. it. That's it. I mean, it's not much, guys, but you know what? Every little bit helps. Um, there'll be, you know, like every little bit helps. People will be happy with, you know, the you know the the gifts and things like that. But we've got, you know, we've got them started here. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, once we run out of the little bags, uh, we'll we'll just put it in big. You know, we have plastic bags here, and uh, we'll we'll just put it in that. But that's what it is. I mean, that's what we're doing with this. Um, you know, these little bit of personal hygiene items that we receive we're passing it on letting somebody else you know enjoy it you know it helps out every little bit um we also have the t-shirts and stuff here that we have all lined up uh these t-shirts and some shorts um we're going to give those to uh you know to the organization we're going to go down there saturday to help out they got a feeding program that they do down there uh, by the bridge in hensonville um <clears throat> anything else let so that's about it. Yeah. Time. We just make like the only reason it's just a little bit, but I want to be like balanced for everything, like equal. Right. You know, all of them. Right. Are and the thing is, there's so many. There's. The money of them, we just yeah. There, there's so many. You know, there's so many people that need help and need assistance. You know, we're not going to be able to help everybody. You know, we can only help out as many people as we can, and. Uh, but you know what, I, I wanted to put that out there, you know, is it a good idea, is it a bad idea? Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of, a lot of comments, good comments, bad comments, don't do this, don't do that. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, you know what, before I put my stamp on it, as I call it, I'm gonna make sure an organization is legit, everything is going to where it needs to be going, and uh, we're just gonna go from there. So, like, like I said, let me know what you think. Leave the comments down below and uh, I'll let you know how everything goes.